Hand salute. Ready, two. It's a tribute to fallen heroes from Indiana. For the sixth year, runners got out early in the morning to remember the heroes who lost their lives. In previous years, participants will run from Fort Wayne to Indianapolis over a course of three days. Now with the pandemic, the runners had to adapt to restrictions and get creative. We're here locally in, in Fort Wayne doing just a smaller version of that. So we're running a loop around uh, Promenade Park, coming back here to the vi Fire and Police Memorial and, and reading names here. Like previous years, during the run at each mile marker, the names of the fallen were read off and their sacrifice was honored with a salute. Usually family members are present, but with social distancing, they couldn't be in attendance this year. We're going to be putting together a video for all the families uh, that we're honoring and all the he heroes that we're honoring. This hero marker is dedicated to those fallen Indiana military heroes who gave their lives in service to our nation. Sergeant Evan Lee Manier. 11-30-2008, U.S. Army. The soldiers whose names were read off were soldiers who have died since the war on terror began. This ties to how the run was created. It spurred from a father who lost his son in the war on terror, and he felt like he, his son's sacrifice was in vain. And what we're really here doing is just really honoring that sacrifice, uh, making sure those families know that their son or daughter this loss of life was not in vain. Hartman says the run for the fallen is an emotional event, but the interaction with the fallen heroes family is quite rewarding. Reporting, Brianna Brownlee, Wayne 15 News.